welcome back to the number one make money online channel brought to you by your girl hilda Mwende. and today we're talking about affiliate marketing which is one of the ways to make money online so i want to dedicate the next several videos on teaching tips on how to make money with affiliate marketing because I can't teach affiliate marketing in one video, but I'm just going to break it down in several tips related to affiliate marketing. So today we're starting on the first tip, which is on um, this. So today we're talking about five tips on how to choose affiliate product. Five tips on how to choose affiliate product. In other words, how do you decide what to promote in affiliate marketing? How do you just, like you have five products, how do you narrow down to one product or two products? That is it. So how is it that what tips or what strategies can you use to decide on what to promote in affiliate marketing? So... This video is based on two assumptions. Assumption number one is that you are not new to affiliate marketing. That is, you know how affiliate marketing works and you have tried it. Because I'm not going to waste your time explaining what is affiliate marketing, how it works, uh, where to get started. No, I'm not just going to waste your time talking about that because that's not the core of this video. But if you are totally new, this is what I recommend you to do. So you are going to go to my channel, Hilda Wende. And then once you are in the channel, you are going to go to this search bar. and You are going to search, let me zoom in. So once you are on the channel, Hilda Mwende, you are going to hear in the search bar. And then you are going to search affiliate marketing. I'm going to search affiliate marketing and you'll be presented with very many videos which I've done in the past about affiliate marketing. And the thing about this video is that I did them for beginners. So I explained step by step how to get started, even if you are a total beginner. Also, if you are looking for proof whether affiliate marketing works, all these videos I gave my own proof of, like in this video, how I made $251. In this, how I made $2,000 from one blog post with affiliate marketing. So these videos will give you the tips you need to get started. And they will also take away the fear you might have. Like, does affiliate marketing make money? Is it really lucrative? Yes, it's an opportunity that can make you money, that can help you pay your bills, and that can give you a full-time income. Okay, so that's... Recommendation number one, you can use the YouTube videos. Alternatively, um, when I started affiliate marketing, that is in 2019, I was really struggling in making money with affiliate marketing. So what I did is I decided to invest in buying a course. And this is the course I bought. This course, Affiliate Marketing for Bloggers. It is created by a very successful uh, blogger that is Kelly. Ali Campbell from Mummy on Purpose. And this course really helped me to get to know the tips I was missing out in my journey of affiliate marketing. It's not free. It's $79. I personally don't have a free course. That's why I directed you to my free YouTube videos. But if you want something you can invest in or pay for, then I recommend this course. So what I will do is that I'm going to add my affiliate link to this course to the description of this video. So let's say this is a video you're watching currently. What you're going to do is that you're going to scroll down to the description, the link which says here show more. And then in the description, you're going to look for this link. I'll just title it here. Affiliate marketing course. I just, that's how I will name it. Affiliate marketing course. And then you're just going to uh, go to that link and it redirect you here to this course. Okay, that's it, guys. So uh, those are the two re really recommendations I'd give if you're totally new. But uh, if really you're, you want 
personalized advice or you want me to walk the journey with you then make sure you reach out to me on my email hilda mwende 966 at gmail.com and just tell me the kind of help you will need me to help you with so that i help you get started in your journey of affiliate marketing okay so that's number one assumption assumption number two is that you have these many affiliate products what you're just doing is that you're struggling to pick one out of that list what does that mean so let's say you have like 10 or 20 affiliate products and then you're just struggling how to settle on one so for instance in this example let's say you just got approved to max bounty recently let me just log in here so let's say you just got approved to max bounty recently and then once you're in your dashboard you realize that there are more than 200 products available for instance look at this there are more than 200 products available so maybe you are a total beginner in such a platform and now you're just wondering what kind of product really should i start promoting like what criteria should i use just to settle on one of the product in this network so this is the video for you because i'm going to share with you the five tips that i use to settle on maybe i have like in this category let's just search something here so let's say you are in dating category according to them there are 116 products in the dating niche that you can promote so the question is how do you narrow down from 116 to just two or three so this is the video for you if you want to know how to choose the best affiliate product if you have these many options okay so those are the two assumptions this video is based on it's based on the assumption that you're not new i've given you where or how you can get started if you're totally new and number two you have several affiliate products so you just want to get tips on how you can narrow down or like bring that number two down so now let's just get started with the tips on how to choose the best affiliate affiliate product when you have many or several affiliate products so the tip number one is you're going to analyze the paying power of that affiliate product so you're going to analyze the paying power what do we mean by that so i will break down or I will show you four strategies you can use to analyze the paying power on, a, on an affiliate product. So one strategy is high commission margins. So I like to go with the affiliate product which is as higher commissions than the other. Let me show you an example here. Let me show you an example. For instance, this is in my Max Bounty account. Let's say I'm trying to decide between these three, these four, this skin Ambrose, this Mark Keeper. Let me zoom in. So let me say I'm, I'm trying to decide between these three products, the skin Ambrose, the Mark Keeper, this. So I'm trying to decide between which one should I promote. If I use strategy number one, which is high commission margins, this means if I promote this a product, per lead or per as everyone who purchases i earn one or five dollars this i earn 48 dollars this i earn 40 dollars so based on that strategy then this is the product which will win because it has high commission margins i'm i'm going to make more by promoting this product than if i chose to promote this so that's strategy number one just just the effort you will put in promoting this product is the same so it's good to just choose the product which will pay you more because the effort you put in driving traffic in promoting that product is the same. So go for products which the commission margin is high. So if you have several number, for instance, we can scroll down and see. Um, we can see if there is another product which is higher than one or five. So in that strategy, we're just going to look for, you see like this, 800 
dollars per lead. So if you promote this for every successful lead or successful sale you make, you get $800. So the higher the commission, then the better the product to settle for. The other, the other like uh, strategy I like to measure paying power is based on presence of recurring commissions. That is, you earn money on the sale, not just once, but repeatedly. Okay, so if the customer buys the product today and they also buy it or they have to renew the subscription every month, every year, then you also make the commission. Let me give you an example here. Let me give you an example. So for instance, I am an affiliate of this theme, the theme I use on my blog, this blog, this Sprout Mentor. So this Sprout Mentor, I use DV theme from the Elegant theme. So I am an affiliate of Elegant themes. This is my affiliate account. So what happens is that when someone buys the DV theme through my affiliate link, the first time, then I make $50 for every successful lead. But if they renew, if they renew, like maybe after it expires, look, like you can buy per year or just pay the one-time fee. If they buy the per year fee and they renew it after the year, I will earn another amount from their renewal. So that's what we call recurring commission, such that you're not making money just once after the person buys, but you're making money repeatedly, even if they buy later in future the same product. So that is number two factor. So you go for those products where there is possibility of making recurring commissions because that way you earn money such that if they buy today, today let's say today is on Thursday, and then that subscription will end next month a date like today, if they renew the subscription, then you will also earn a commission. So that way you make money lifetime on that affiliate product. And that's a good way of building passive income because it is repeated commissions. The other factor on high paying power is um, upsells. What we mean by upsells is the merchant has put effort to getting the customer to make a higher cost purchase than they originally planned. How is this made? Let me show you an example. So for instance, let's say the this is the book I'm promoting from Amazon. So I'm promoting this book, American Marxism, and it goes for $16. So what Amazon does, Amazon is very good at upsells. What they do is that there is this touch here. They are telling that the, the customer that if you buy this book plus this book plus this book, you get a discount of $51. So you get the three books at $51 instead of maybe $100 and above. You see, that is an upsell in form of a discount. Again, Amazon does good upsells by that this customer who, customers who viewed this product are also interested in this product. So they are further giving the customer options. You see, they're also giving what other items are customers like you viewing. So they are really good at upselling such that you might lead the customer to buy this book, but as they, as they scroll down, they are likely to get another product which will interest them. So that is a way of upselling such that the customer will not just leave Amazon with this book, they are likely to leave Amazon with more other products from Amazon. Another example of how a merchant can be good at upselling is through bundles. So for instance, this is, I promote products by Kali, that's a blogger from Mummy on Purpose, from Blogging Like You Mean It. So what happens is that this is an example of a, a bundle of a course that she has. So you can choose to promote the course on Pinterest differently, the course on affiliate marketing differently, or the course on, um, this is course on pinning differently. But what she has done is that she has also brought them together in form of a bundle. So if you bought these products individually, you'll end up paying $153. 
but in the form of a bundle you'll end up paying 95 dollars so that means instead of promoting the pinteresting strategies course alone which could maybe cost 29 dollars you will earn more commission because the customer will look at this value like they are saving money by getting the three products in one bundle so this is more about working with merchants who are very vigilant at uh, marketing their product in such a way that it promotes this upselling feature such that they have these catchy things like the discounts the bundles the time there is also this thing about the time that if you buy if you buy before 24 hours are, are over then you make this so this is more about the skill of the vendor or the merchant you'll work with at the marketing their product so the higher upsells or presence of upsells in a product there is a more likelihood of you making more money because the customer is going to purchase more than they originally planned okay the other factor to consider in buying power is ads bid range like how much are advertisers willing to bid on ads for that product so this you can really determine with what we call keyword research tools so i know keyword research is a terminology those who are new in seo might not understand it but since i don't want to waste time in explaining what it is let me just explain how you how you implement this strategy and then i'll tell you how to understand keyword research if you're new to it so the tool i'll be using is google keyword planner so i have a video on google keyword planner which i did so just go to my youtube channel and search so when i'm in google keyword planner let's say i want to promote this product this okinawa this okinawa flat belly tonic so let's say this is the affiliate product i want to promote so i'm going to google keyword planner and search it once i search it this tool will give me this this tool will give me this data as you can see here there is this top page bid and top page bid so this is what advertisers are willing to pay for ads on this product they are willing to pay up to five dollars a click five dollars per click so the thing is you want to go for product where the bidding is high because if advertisers are willing to pay more for that product that means that product is hot cake that means people are really interested in that product and that's why advertisers are willing to pay more for it okay so the higher the bid that advertisers are willing to place on a product that is an indication that that product is really uh, good and you can really make good money with it so i was saying that if you are totally new to keyword research or you didn't understand when i talked of keyword research tools you didn't understand when i talked of google keyword planner this is what i recommend you to do because this is vi this video is not about that so i'll not like go into depth explaining that but this is what i will I recommend you to do you're going to get my book this on page seo and this book has uh, as everything you need to know when you're starting out in seo that is search engine optimization and also within the book i will give you free free articles blog posts you can use once you purchase this book so you simply can go into my blog sproutmentor.com and search how to rank your post on position one of google or in the description of this video i will leave a link to this book so that you may be able to purchase it so that's it guys so you are looking at um tip number one of selecting affiliate product that is the paying power how much are you likely to make and you can measure this using these strategies the product must have high commission margins the presence of recurring commissions is a good indication of you making more money presence of upsell is also a good indication of you making money and then the more advertisers are willing to bid on ads for that product the higher the possibility of you making money so that's tip number one 
and we can now proceed to the next tip on how to choose affiliate products so the second tip that you can use to choose or settle on an affiliate product is the relevance what do i mean by the relevance okay this can be done can be looked at in three dimensions once one the affiliate product aligns with your passions and interest personally as an affiliate marketer i found it easy to promote the product that i love i have tried and have used i just don't go randomly and pick on products i have not used or tried and tried to sell them to my audience i love to recommend products which i have personally tested used and tried out and those that have been part of this community of my youtube channel longer you know very well i like to share videos with proof of income of tips and tools that i have used because i like i have found that i make more money when i share things that i am passionate about that i am interested in that is it is easier to convince your customer to buy from you when they trust you and trust can only come from them knowing that you also use the product let me give you an, a few examples of things that i promote here for instance i promote the dv the dv theme so in my blog sprout mentor is my blog sprout mentor what i use is the dv theme and in within the post i also mentioned that that i use the dv theme and then i link to my affiliate link and you can see i have at least just by promoting something which honestly i use you see i'm making sales from elegant themes by promoting the dv theme another example is that um, when i started this let me show you when i started this youtube channel uh and was making let me show you here let me show you so when i started this youtube channel and i made videos like this one i made videos like this one this like this video on how to make money online in kenya through mpesa in this video i'm promoting this app which i use i'm promoting this app which i use and that's the reason why because i'm able to provide proof to my audience that is why i make money through referrals you see all this money is through referrals because people are able to trust me from promoting this app since i provide my own income proofs that have been paid by this app so relevance is all about let it touch on your own interest as a person have the passion to promote that product don't just go and pick any product just like it you would be good or better if you have a fast and proof that you have used that product and how it has worked for you okay so that is dimension number one on relevance dimension number two is it aligns with your niche and audience with your niche and audience so this is it I think I'll just explain this with like an example here. So there are so many niches or niches niche niches that you can uh, do affiliate marketing with. For instance, this is Max Bounty, and I want to show you examples of niches like dating, gaming, health, surveys. So let's say you are in the health niche. So if you are in the health niche, we are going to apply such if you're in the health niche let's say your blog is maybe in niches like dieting weight loss fitness and things like those there is no possible way you can go choose a product in the dating niche you cannot choose a product in the dating niche to promote in the health niche so relevance in terms of your audience is you must be recommending products which fit within your niche and within your audience that is why it's very important to settle on a niche when you're doing affiliate marketing you just can't promote all product 
you have to settle on a niche like you say health niche and within the health niche i'm going to settle on a subcategory like beauty diet fitness or wellness mm -hmm. if you choose diet you see you will have this product to promote in the dieting niche okay so relevance is more about you cannot like you cannot be pro, you i mean you cannot be talking about football and then you are recommending a healthcare product no you cannot be talking about weight loss and then you go recommend people how to make money online no you just have to align the product you choose with your audience and your niche okay so that is uh criteria number two that you can measure relevance the other thing is evergreen that then the the affiliate product you choose must be evergreen that is it doesn't go outdated you see affiliate marketing is a way of making passive income or what is known as recurring income that is income you make today tomorrow the following day without putting the initial work okay so evergreen niche is a niche which or an affiliate product that is evergreen is that you can make money from january to december with it example for instance christmas we are nearing the christmas season we are nearing the christmas season and you will find so many when it comes to the christmas season many merchants will begin to, to put their christmas related affiliate products here but the problem is you cannot promote the same christmas product in january in february in march you see so for me i like to work with affiliate products which are evergreen that is forever they will always have the appeal for instance an affiliate product on weight loss from january to december people will always want to lose weight from morning to evening people will always want to lose weight from uh, africa to the united states to anywhere part of the world people will always want to lose weight so this is a an affiliate product within the weight loss niche is something which cuts across everything which makes it evergreen it never goes outdated so that is factor number two relevance let the niche align with your passions and interest number two let it align with your niche and audience and number three let it be evergreen all the time so i don't want to add so much about that but that's just it on tip number two and we can proceed to tip number three on how to choose an affiliate product uh, if you have many options so the tip number three which you can use to choose is the vendor what do you mean by the vendor so the vendor is maybe the merchant you shall be working with or the affiliate network you shall be working with that is the owner of the affiliate product that you you intend to promote the owner i mean the owner of the affiliate product so what are the dimensions you can use to measure the vendor that is number one their reputation their reputation is very important and you can simply determine this from a simple google search what can you do so you simply can go to google let's say you are in the diet niche dieting niche so you just go to google and say diet affiliate product and you will see all these top blog posts which have the best like according to google here this is the best weight loss evolved health trader so your goal is now just go to this product and then apply to the affiliate uh i mean the affiliate programs okay so a google a google a simple google search on the niche like maybe if you are in the dating you can say dating affiliate product you will get if you are in rags rags affiliate product you will get so it's just about go to google and whatever is really seemed to be recommended in the top that fits to be the, the, the that those affiliate products have a good reputation alternatively let's say you have the specific name of the affiliate product 
For instance, let's say you want to promote this. This is Okina Oki, Okinawa. This Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic. So this is a very popular affiliate product in the weight loss niche, which people promote. And so you just go to Google and search the name of that, and then you say reviews. Then add the word reviews. You see. So here you will read through these reviews and see whether people talk of it as good, bad, whether it is worth. You see, from the feedback these top posts are giving, if there is more negative feedback, then it will just be a waste of time promoting this product. If there is more positive feedback, then you're good to go promoting it. For instance, there is this a product I promote that is Aikito. So just go to Google and search Aikito reviews and just read through the reviews. If there is more positive reviews, then you can promote the product. But if there is more negative reviews, then you need to leave it at that. Okay. Again, the other way you can determine like um, the reputation of a product is, for instance, I'm an affiliate of Amazon. And what Amazon does is it gives customer reviews of the product and so i'll just go to amazon and look at these ratings here and the higher the reviews or the rating that shows that that product is likely to perform well with my audience so that is part number one that is reputation the other thing about the vendor that can lead you to the right product is the recommendations most vendors will often categorize products based on top rated trending products. Uh, let me show you examples here. So for instance, if you are in Max Bounty, Max Bounty categorizes its campaign based on top campaigns, trending campaigns. So if you are looking for something seasonal or something that is performing Right now, you would look through the trending category. If you're looking for something top or which is mostly recommended by many people, you'd look at the top. So this is an affiliate network which these just these categorizations can help you decide on what is working better and which is not working better. Again, if you work with ClickBank and you just go to Google and search, best ClickBank product to promote in 2021. What ClickBank does is it, it does month, month like month categorization of the top products. Like in, these are the top in July. So if you open this link, it will give you the top products which you can promote in July. You go through this list, there is, they talk of the, they talk of, uh, talk of this list this list the okinawa and that, that basically that's the list also you see in quora you can just go look into a forum like this quora and see which people which product are people in a quorum like quora recommending again if you work with a different affiliate network like warrior plus you just go search best warrior plus product promote in 2021 and you will find this top selling product in warrior plus so the thing is that most most affiliate networks you see like he's showing me these top sellers here you see these forget broke so these are the top products really performing very well on warrior plus which you can promote now so the good thing is that every merchant to choose to work with will always give you recommendations on what is working with also maybe if you are an amazon associate affiliate you can use what they call the amazon best sellers which categorizes their product based on what is working well like in the gift card niche you can promote these three gift cards in the electronic niche these are the three products which are really doing well in the camera and photo niche those are the three products in the video game niche. So the thing is that Amazon will help you to know what is really doing well in their, in their site so that you are able to settle on the best uh, product that is doing well. So those are really the two dimensions 
from the vendor point of view or from the affiliate merchant point of view which can help you decide on what is the best affiliate product to choose that is the reputation and the recommendation which i've explained and now we can go to the next the fourth tip you can use to decide on the affiliate product so the other tip you can use to determine which affiliate product to choose is your competition that is your competitors so i'm saying emulate not copy because copying uh, being a copycat is not nice as an as an entrepreneur or marketer you need to be at least creative not just go copy and paste everything 100 percent so we are using this as a point of reference or some somewhere we can emulate or borrow something so your competitors this is people you write the same content on the same niche okay so how can you know what they promote or how can you know the affiliate products they promote for me, these are the two ways I know. Number one is their monthly income reports. I often follow bloggers who always publish monthly income reports. For instance, this one of the bloggers, I am subscribed to their email list. So Debbie, Debbie Gartner, this is the owner of The Flooring Girl, and I'm subscribed to their mailing list such that I receive income reports like this is a June income report. You see, it sent 10 days ago. So this is a June income report. So the only reason I'm able to receive this income report is because I'm subscribed to an email list. So you just go to the blog, The Flooring Girl, and subscribe to our email list. So the thing is, in this income report, she breaks down what makes her money. For instance, she says she makes $1,000 from rewards. So that means, and this is affiliate income. So if I want to make money in affiliate marketing and we are on the same niche as her, then I need to go to sign up to reward tell affiliate program or Amazon. Or she also make money with this BC stack. This is a collection of 65 plus blogging product and she made over 2000 with it. Then there is this this course on stupid simple seo and there's also these courses so the thing is since we are in a similar niche i should go sign up to this affiliate product because she has tried and tested them if she has tried and tested them that means they are working and so you can borrow from that so that is strategy number one income reports shared by bloggers again <clears throat> you can look at the affiliate links which which are used for instance this is how i do it this is how i do it for for when i'm reading a, a post of course a blogger is a reader when i'm reading a, a blog post like this one you will notice that most bloggers link to affiliate product okay so for instance i'm looking for a link in this post here so for the for instance um I'm looking so like this Fiverr okay in this blog post I'm linking to Fiverr and this is an affiliate link because let me show you my Fiverr affiliate account so every time someone clicks on this affiliate link and they they purchase or they purchase a service through that link then I earn a commission so the thing is where every blog post you're reading, you want to really look through the links, the links they add to their blog post, and then you visit those sites, and then you're just going to scroll down, scroll down to the footer, and look for what they call affiliate program. You see, like this is Fiverr, this is my Fiverr affiliate account. I've made this month $130 from it. So the thing is that, um, the links these bloggers add into their uh, blog post, most of them are affiliate links. So for instance, if you find Fiverr, you're just going to say, go to Google and search Fiverr affiliate program, and then you're just going to sign up this Fiverr affiliate. You're going to sign up to this. Another one I'm using is this Flex Job. This is another affiliate link. So you just go to Flex Job affiliate product, program and sign up so the links be careful about the links 
that you find in post because most likely those are links telling you which affiliate product those bloggers are promoting again if it's not a blog post maybe it's a youtube channel and uh, you're watching a youtube video you're just going to let's say this is a let me show you let's say this is a video you're watching what you're going to do is in the description where you see a show more in most cases the affiliate products that these youtubers are promoting are usually on this description so you just go through these links and you will clearly know what these uh, youtube creators are promoting so those are the two strategies i basically use to analyze what affiliate product my competitors are promoting because if they are my competitors i am certain they are making money and that's what they are promoting definitely if i promote the same thing since we share the same audience then i expect to make the same money so that is the tip on your competition whatever your competition is promoting in affiliate marketing there's a high likelihood that if you also marketed the same product you'll make money out of them because you share the same audience so that's tip number four so we can proceed to tip number five so tip number five you're going to track the performance so at times you might do all the four tips and still miss out and promote the wrong product okay so you might really follow the four tips and settle on two or three products but at the end of the day they might not be the right ones so this is where the step number five comes in that you must make sure you monitor analyze the performance of those products you've settled on to know what is working and what, what is not working so you're going to drop what is not working and you're going to boost or work more on what is working let me show you this with examples so this is max bounty and in max bounty i promote several things so like this is the list of some of the products i have added links to my blog post but this list has more than i mean this list has more than 100 uh i mean affiliate product i've added into my post but as you can see here according to clicks the ones that are only getting clicks are around 10 leads the only ones that are really making me money are around this is just one this month shutterstock so this tells me that the product i should focus more on promoting is this while these others which have not made me money this month i should like either leave them or work more on promoting them no we are here so what has made me more money this month is shutterstock this loan site so we can tell that loan loan so these two products are in the loan niche so that means i'm making me more money from loan kind of offers so i should promote those more so we can see that this one two three four five six seven so only seven only seven products have really made me more money regardless of the fact that i promoted over 100 in my blog so what that means is that you just have to track the performance so that you know what is working and what is not working so you could have followed the four steps but at the end of the day you may choose the wrong product so that's why you need like every month track the performance if you are not making any sales with that product drop it look for another if you are making less than you, sh you want or your prediction is drop it pick another so this is the most important step according to me tracking the performance so that when you know what is working you will put more effort into promoting it and when you know what is not working you're just going to leave it because you don't want to waste your time on promoting something which is not making you money and that's it guys maybe let's do a recap and what we are doing was five tips on how to choose the best affiliate product to promote okay and the tip number one was you must measure the paying power of that affiliate product. 
Number two, it must be relevant to your passion, to your audience, and it's evergreen. Number three, you must measure the reputation and the recommendations of the vendor, the affiliate, affiliate vendor or merchant. Then you must measure or analyze your competition to know what is working for them. And number five, which is the most important, track the performance. What is not working, leave it. Whatever is working, work more on it. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. And it's been Hilda. And please, if you like the kind of content I keep doing for you guys, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and most importantly, engage with my video. Share them, comment on them. Just please help me boost the growth of this YouTube channel by liking it, sharing it, or leaving a comment this really helps me with the youtube algorithm it will helps my videos rank better such that i'm able to help more people and again i'm able to really widen the possibility of me making me money so that i stay motivated in making these videos for you that's it guys for today and i hope that i've been useful of our help to you and until next time it's a bye-bye from me right now, Hilda, and then bye.